The fourth row of the Behringer System 55 is empty. You have 140 HP of Eurorack space with nothing but blank panels on it. The question is, what needs to go in that last row to fill in the blanks? The Moog Modular is the synthesizer that introduced the world to synthesizers in the late 60s and early 70s. Artists such as Wendy Carlos, Keith Emerson, and Tangerine Dream were pioneers in that introduction. The name Moog is interchangeable with the word synthesizer, like Xerox is for copiers. The Moog System 55 modular is a design that's over 50 years old. There have been a lot of really significant advances in synthesis technology since then. Still, the analog sound and the tools originally used to produce it are still popular. Today, there are a few features of an analog synthesizer that are considered must-have features. The Behringer System 55 is missing a few of these. The Moog Modular had a keyboard as part of the original design, so it is not included in this list. The CMA1 MIDI 2 CV module is included in the System 55, so it's assumed that a MIDI keyboard will be used to control the System 55. The CMA1 processes key presses, but like the original Moog, it does not process velocity nor aftertouch. It also processes MIDI pitch bin continuous controller messages. The CC messages are included in the CV out. The most obvious shortcoming of the CMA1 MIDI to CV module is that it does not process the MIDI CC messages for the modulation wheel. Here are four alternatives to add vibrato without using the mod wheel. Number one, use an attenuator on the System 55 instead of the mod wheel on the keyboard to manually introduce vibrato. Number two, use a delayed LFO patch for hands-free delayed vibrato. Number three, you could use another MIDI to CV controller that processes the mod wheel. I have one that will read the mod wheel and add an LFO effect to the one control voltage output. Number four, introduce vibrato manually by moving the pitch bend rapidly. Of course, this takes some technique and will require practice. So finally, here's my top five list of the must-have features for the System 55. Number one, Portamento Glide Slew Limiter. Number two, an additional LFO for vibrato or other modulation. Number three, sample and hold. Number four, ring modulator. Number five, a quantizer to simplify sequencer tuning. Here are a few nice to have features. Delayed vibrato, an additional filter, preferably a multi-mode filter, a voltage processor with an inverter, a second sequencer, a high-pass, low-pass filter coupler. I know of at least one DIY module like that. Possibly a digital oscillator or a full voice such as the mutable instruments, PLATS. This is how I have addressed these requirements in the 140 HP space available. I'll list the modules in order from left to right as I have them in my System 55 case. The Behringer 297 Dual Port Tomento and CV Utilities. This module addresses both Portamento and voltage processor requirements. For just $49, it includes a CV-controlled Portamento, two mixers with inverting and not inverting outputs, as well as two fixed DC voltages with attenuators, plus and minus 10 volts. The Behringer 110 VCO, VCF, VCA voice. This module could be considered optional in this context, but with the other modules, it completes a full voice for a sequencer. For $99, it includes 
a VCO, a VCF, and a VCA. It also has many normal connections that simplify patching. The Behringer 940 Dual Envelope LFO. This module addresses the additional LFO requirement. For $79 it includes a voltage controlled LFO with a trigger delay for vibrato without needing a manual control like a mod wheel. It has two ADSRs which are useful for a full voice. Note that the gate requires a small voltage boost to the V-trigger voltage level that would be coming from a sequencer. This is provided by one of the mixers on the 297 Portamento CV Utilities module. The Behringer 150 Ring Mod Noise Sample and Hold and LFO. This module meets three of the five requirements. Sample and Hold, Ring Modulator, LFO. For $49, it also includes another noise source and a clock out from the sample and hold. The next module is a dual VCA. It's not in my list, but I had space for it, and so that's what's there now. After that, the micro ornament and crime module. This is an open source four channel utility with exceptional versatility and too many available functions to mention. I'm using it as a four channel quantizer. There are several vendors including After Later Audio and Plum Audio who sell this new for between $229 and $300. Alternately, Dofer also has the A156 dual quantizer module for $153. Next I have a second 960 sequencer. I already had this and the 962 sequential switch installed before I created this list. These modules use all of the space in the fourth row of my System 55 cabinet. Several of the nice-to-have features are also addressed by these modules. The delayed vibrato is available with the LFOs in both the 140 and 150. An additional filter is in the 110, although it is not a multi-mode filter. A voltage processor with inverter is included in the 297. In conclusion, for the record, this must-have list was created independent of the modules that I chose to meet the requirements. As it turns out, I already owned each of these modules. There are any number of modules that could have been used to meet the requirements of our list. I like the System 100 modules because they provide all of the functionality needed except for the quantizer. Therefore, the look and style is consistent across these modules. Of course, they're very affordable as well. So, that's the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.